Hello and welcome. This is going to be a complete guide for everything you need to know about playing bow in Brawlhalla. We're going to start off by looking at the downlight combos. So you would use the neutral light follow-up just because it's consistent and easy. Nair is going to do the most damage for you. The side air is for positional advantage, and recovery is going to be your kill move. So you can see the recovery follow-up will actually kill before the nair. You can also get these follow-ups out of a gravity cancel. You should be wary though that the timing and spacing is fairly strict for this. It is also possible to pivot your neutral light follow-up and then get a neutral air, although this is dependent on both spacing and damage. Now we're going to look at some real game examples of me finding the light. Here all I do is backdash away to create a whiff from a running signature, and that leaves a very easy punch. In this clip, Barraza whips his side air, and that gives me a very easy punish with downlight. Here's a more aggressive downlight. You see Bryn actually attempts to dash back, but we cover that space. And as a final thing to keep in mind for your downlighting, remember that this is a kill confirm around 150 to 170 damage. The range and damage potential on this move gives Bo a ton of opportunity to control space on the stage. At low damages, you can get a lot of extra mileage out of your end light. A recovery will be no dodge, dodge up, or dodge up and away. Delayed Ser or Nair can be back dodge and neutral dodge. Dodges inward can be beaten by a neutral air. And a downward dodge gives you your biggest punish. Here's an example of me getting a lot of extra damage out of the D-Light and Light combo. Mirage is unwilling to dodge. She does not have to get hit by the recovery or the side air. Because Mordex blows his dodge after my side light, I'm able to land this anti-air for free. In a desperate situation, you can use raw neutral light to pick up a kill. You'll notice in slow motion, we even catch the dodge. That'll bring us to side light. There is a ton to say about this move. We're going to start with the situational combo. It is side light, chase dodge, and light. It is dependent on both spacing and damage. When they're at low damage, if you can get even one dodge read with the side light, you can easily get 60 or 70 damage sequences. At higher damages, you can use side light to set up a dodge read into a signature. You'll use a mix of chase dodging forward into side sig, side sigging in place, or back dash to side sig like we did with Koji here. Again, this is character and damage specific. And when they choose to go up into the air, you can also neutral sig them. In this specific situation, double chase dodge closes the gap. The side light allows you to get hard reads and can enable kills well before the bow should be allowed to have them. Side light can also be used as you're seeing to push the opponent off the stage and force gimps or zero to deaths. And we're going to talk about that, but first, I want to touch on the air. There's not a whole lot to say about using down air on the stage, although at low damage, it can combo into side light. Most of your time spent using down air while you're on the stage is going to be in a ledge guarding situation. You can set up kills very nicely, especially if you're able to grab a recovery like we see here against Koji. 
Whenever you're in a situation where you know for certain where the opponent's going to recover to, bow down air is really, really powerful. Moves like Lance Recovery become a relatively free kill. Whatever down air lacks in on stage potential, it more than makes up for with what it delivers off stage. It is one of the strongest ledge guard tools in the game. Here you see Queen Nai doesn't respect the down air spacing. She eats back to back down airs and then a ground pound. She's just dead. Here we're going to see another very quick gimp because Petra doesn't respect the zone of that down air. After I land this initial ground pound and follow her down, she has to dodge through me there. Because she eats that, she has to use every option to get back, and it's an easy ground pound. Here we're gonna see a turnaround kill against Scythe off stage. Definitely looks like I should die, but after I land that side air, I actually put him in a position where he only has recovery and dodge. He tries to recover me to be safe, but Dare takes care of it. I want to take a moment to talk about what landing a side air against a grounded opponent can get you. It's very similar to the side light in that you're able to get a dodge read into a signature punch. Here's an example of that in action, complete with the down air to ledge guard. You'll even notice in slow motion, Sentinel tries to signature me there but we have significant range. Despite the fact that a side air on the stage isn't going to pick up a kill by itself, it can set them up. Here we see me wait for the dodge, punish with an end sig, and even get the weapon toss to stuff the recovery. Side air is also gonna be a very important part of your ledge starting kit. Here we're just going to see what you can do against a bad gravity cancel. Wasting a dodge against bow is super risky. Once you've conditioned your opponent to be super afraid of your down air off stage, you're actually going to find it's not that hard to just sneak into place for a side air. Side air, down air, and ground pound give the bow three different angles of attack for ledge guarding. It's important to mix all three of those options up, and it's going to be very difficult for anyone to predict how you're going to try and stuff them out. Before we go too deep into ledge guarding, I want to talk about neutral air. Here in this first clip, we're actually going to see me call out that jump and punish with neutral air. Nair's hitbox is really useful for floaty players who want to stack on top of you. All I want to showcase here is how I wait out Orion and get a free Nair. Against this Azoth, he uses every movement and defensive option he has. I'm not able to close out the ledge guard traditionally, but I am able to find a kill with Nair. Now that we've gone over all the normal moves, we're gonna focus a little bit more on offstage play. Against Queen Nai, the first thing we do is force her off the stage. We find a ground pound, and we stuff the recovery. Here is another instance of forcing the opponent off the stage. We use side air to do that, we find a dare, and then we follow the dodge with a jump and ground pound. We're going to watch that again in slow motion. We read the jump with dare. Here we read the dodge by jumping, and we ground pound. Once again, we are going to force the opponent off the stage. This time it's with a side light instead of a sair. We're even going to close out with a weapon toss into ground pound. I was a little concerned about getting recovery by hammer, so I covered it. I've included this clip because I want to talk about staying calm in the edge guard. Here it definitely looks like I should die, especially after I miss that ground pound. But I'm somehow able to find the kill. Let's go back and watch that again. 
here when I dodge into the stage, I know he's gonna ground pound me because I have no options. I try to ground pound him when he recovers, but I'm short. There I'm forced to dodge through his ground pound. And right there, he has to dodge to get back to stage. So he's dead to my ground pound. So now we're gonna take a closer look at the side light setups off stage. Here you see side light chase dodge up catches his dodge up with a ground pound and then able to get a second ground pound in this clip fate has a bit more damage on her so we're gonna need two chase dodges but she dodges down to try and get away and that's still a kill if the opponent does not want to dodge in this situation you can always down air them that works from zero until relatively high damage here is a zero to death he's gonna use a little bit of everything we've learned so far we force terrors off the stage we get the down air and then a double ground pound so after we get that down air we get the jump and eat his dodge we jump ground pound again and he's dead now that we've conditioned terrors, later on in the match we'll see a similar situation, but we're gonna play this differently after we force him off the stage, the double chase dodge up and the ground found to stop recovery. One more time, we're gonna be looking at a zero to death situation, we'll find the early weapon, we'll control the stage here, force him off, get a nice string because he's afraid to dodge here. He's going to try and turn around and get that recovery, and that's going to cost him a stop. Let's look at this in slow motion again. After that side light, he should have dodged the down light, but he chose not to. Unfortunately, we don't get a follow-up there, but because we didn't, it's why he tried to recovery, and it did end up leading to the stop. And that'll be a wrap on the guide. Thank you guys for tuning in. Feel free to ask me questions in the comments. Follow the channel for more content. Either way, y'all have a good one.